Hey, it's your morning sports report here at Trib Live Radio at TribLive.com, all brought to you by Cash In Culture, your pop culture retro gaming headquarters with four big stores in western Pennsylvania to serve you. Westmoreland Mall and Century 3 Mall, Bell Vernon, and also in North Huntington online at CashInCulture.com. Ken Laird, Josh Taylor, somebody somewhere in Pittsburgh won something this weekend. I'm just not sure who that was and where they were, Josh. Quite the painful sports weekend. Let's talk Steelers and a come-from-ahead loss to the Oh, and three Tampa Bay Bucks. Who is the goat? Who is most to blame? Where do you start? Line them all up. <laughs> we t- we have our three Stooges hour, don't we? Line them all up and just let the slaps go the whole way down the line. <laughs> I, 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 he, I keep hearing I hurt so much, and I keep making the very critical mistake of going on social media after a game and hear people talk all this stuff. Everybody wants to limit it to one person. Everybody wants to limit it to one player. Everybody wants to limit it to one thing to happen. One oh, coach. It, or it's one coach. Oh, it's the punter's fault. Oh, it's Todd Haley's fault. They lost as a team. They made plenty of mistakes as a team. They made plenty of mistakes on defense. They made plenty of mistakes on offense. They got called for plenty of penalties on, on defense. Between Troy Polamalu being caught in a neutral zone. Between Arthur Motes being caught in a neutral zone at an absolutely inopportune time on third and two. Between Marquise Pouncey getting called for a false start at a very inopportune time when you're trying to put the game away. They made a lot of mistakes collectively, and they made a lot individually. So you can't you can't key on one person. The, the responsibility, in my opinion, goes all the way down the line. It took a hat full of mistakes to find a way to lose to Mike Glennon and the Bucks, a team that had just gotten beat 56-14. to 14. <laughs> Granted, a long week to prepare. But as you say, Josh, you missed a field goal. The punt was awful when it counted the most late. Offensively, you gave 10 points up with two horrible series to start the game. You weren't ready to go. Not to mention the sacks allowed of Ben Roethlisberger, five big ones, most of them coming from the left side. Uh, some Beecham, some running back assigned, some Ben Roethlisberger not getting rid of the football. You, the offense did not score on the final three chances it had to touch the football. That's unacceptable. But the defense, of course, had a lead and let it get away. And to Lewis Murphy, an off-the-street receiver from five days ago. Who's just killed picked up, them before? Has, he, he, Oakland. He, he owns Heinz Field. Uh and I maybe the most uh, the biggest indictment after the game, Lewis Murphy saying we talked about in practice on Thursday, the Steelers were going to run cover two. In this case, it was actually cover three, as Troy Polamalu told us, and the hole was going to be open. They have become so predictable on defense. Lewis Murphy picked up five days ago knows exactly what they are running and when exactly to run it. Let's take it back. If you were going to get back, get in the time machine here, think about some of the most the most just devastating plays against this defense over the last few years. Think back to the game in 2011, that playoff game, the last playoff game they were in, mind you. The Tebow game. The Tebow game. What did they get busted on? They got busted on a cover two. Think back to Super Bowl 48, when the game almost fell apart because Larry Fitzgerald broke one. What did they get busted against? Cover two. If it, it, It's... The tendencies are there. When Bruce Gretkowski came in here with, I think it might have been with Lewis Murphy, it might have been that game when Bruce Gretkowski came in here and tore the Steelers up. What did he do it against? A cover two. Maybe he sees something that we're not paying attention to. Long season, quarter in the books. Much time to get out of this, but blowing a great chance to get out to a 3-1 and one start. The Steelers will be talking about them all week. You're on Trip Live Radio, triplive.com.